Robin, English teacher with Core Languages, and today I'm sitting in my backyard because it is time for me to feed my fish. If I don't feed my fish, they will go hungry and they might die. So I have an obligation to feed them. I could make different sentences to express this obligation. I could say, I must feed my fish. Or I could say, I need to feed my fish. Or I could say, I have to feed my fish. Each of these sentences uses a modal verb or a semi-modal verb to help me express this obligation. But I could also use a modal verb to express an ability. I can feed my fish. Or I can use a modal verb to give someone advice or to make a suggestion. You should feed your fish. When using modal verbs, we have to remember how they change the word order in a sentence and that they follow a slightly different conjugation pattern. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make sentences with modal verbs. So the next time someone asks you, what do you have to do or what must you do? You can formulate a perfect English sentence. Modal verbs are used to express likelihood, permission, a request, the ability, the capacity, or an advice. Here are examples of modal verbs. Must, have to, need to, can, could, would, should, might, shall, ought to, may, and will. Notice that have to, need to, and ought to are marked in red. They are considered semimodals. They require to in addition to the base verb. Have to and need to also follow a different conjugation pattern than the other modal verbs. There are three main rules when using modal verbs. When using a modal verb, we need to remember that all forms are identical and no ending is added. For example, I must, you must, she must. It is important to note that it is not she musts. No S is added in the third person. Modals are followed by the base form of another verb. For example, he can do it. It is incorrect to say he can does it or he can to do it. In order to form a negative sentence with a modal verb, we simply add not, and we do not need to use to do. For example, you may not borrow my car. It would be incorrect to say, you do not may. The modal verb must is used to express a strong obligation to do something. Must not is used to express that someone is not allowed to do something. The word order is subject, then the modal verb, and if we are negating the sentence, not is placed after the modal verb, then the main verb in its base form, and the rest of the sentence. For example, we must eat breakfast now. We is the subject, must is the modal verb, and eat is the main verb in its base form. Breakfast now is the rest of the sentence. We must not feed wild animals. We is the subject, must is the modal verb, not negates the sentence, 
Feed is the main verb in its base form, and wild animals is the rest of the sentence. This sentence expresses that we are not allowed to feed wild animals. Not is added behind the modal verb must to form the negative. The semimodal verb have to is used to express obligation. Not have to is used to express that we are not required to do something. To negate have to, we use do not or does not. The word order is subject, modal verb, main verb, and rest of the sentence. If we wish to negate the sentence, we place do not or does not before the modal verb. For example, he has to buy new shoes. He is the subject. Has to is the modal verb. Buy is the main verb in its base form. And new shoes is the rest of the sentence. They do not have to get up early. They is the subject. Have to is the modal verb. Get up is the main verb in its base form. And early is the rest of the sentence. Notice that have to does get conjugated for he, she, it. And if we want to negate it, we use do not or does not and place the negation before the modal verb. Semimodal verb need to is used to express obligation or necessity. Need not to is used to express that it is not necessary to do something. The word order is the same. Subject, modal verb, main verb, and rest of the sentence. For example, she needs to eat a snack. Or, you need not worry about it. I could also negate the sentence this way. You do not need to worry about it. Both forms of negation are possible with need to. And we need to remember that need to uses the third person singular needs. The modal verb should is used to express obligation, advice, and to express that someone is expected to do something. The word order is the same, subject, modal verb, main verb in its base form, and the rest of the sentence. For example, we should study for the test, or you should exercise regularly. To negate these two sentences, we simply add not behind the modal verb. We should not study or you should not exercise. The semimodal verb ought to is used to express advice or that someone is supposed to do something or to say that something is a good idea. The word order is the same, subject, modal verb, main verb in its base form and the rest of the sentence. For example, she ought to get more sleep. Or we ought to do something nice for him. To negate ought to, we simply say ought not to. The modal verb can is used to express both the ability and the permission to do something. Cannot is used to express the inability or to say that someone is not allowed to do something. The word order is the same. Subject, modal verb, main verb in its base form, and the rest of the sentence. For example, I can ride a bike. This sentence expresses the ability of riding a bike. You cannot park here. This sentence expresses that you are not allowed to park here. 
notice that the word not was attached to the word can and combined to form one word in the negative. The modal verb could is used to express ability or permission. Could is a more polite form of can in the present tense and is used in questions and conditionals. For example, I could help you if you like. This sentence could also be, I can help you if you like, but we use could to make it more polite. Could you tell me where the post office is? This sentence could also be, can you tell me where the post office is? But using could makes the sentence more polite. The modal verb shall is used to express a choice or to offer suggestions. It is typically only used with the first person, I and we. The auxiliary verb will is more frequently used with the second and third person, you, he, she, it, and they. For example, shall I turn off the lights? Or shall we drive home? Both sentences are questions, so they use inverted word order. The modal verb would is used to express requests, desires, and it is the polite form of the auxiliary verb will. For example, I would like some coffee. I could also say I want some coffee or I like some coffee, but using the modal verb would makes the sentence more polite. Would you help me please? I could also say, will you help me please? But saying, would you help me please, makes the sentence more polite. The auxiliary verb will is used to express requests, but it is also used to talk about things in the future. For example, I will be ready next time. Or, will you pass me the ketchup? The first sentence is an example of the future tense, and the second sentence is making a request. We use the modal verb may to express a possibility, but also to give someone permission. For example, may I ask you something? In this example, we ask for permission to ask something. You may borrow my car. In this sentence, we give someone permission to borrow the car. May can also be used to express possibility for the future. For example, I may go shopping tomorrow. It is a possibility that I go shopping tomorrow. The modal verb might is also used to express possibility or permission but it is also considered the more polite form of may, and it can be used to express future possibility. For example, the plane might depart soon. Or, might I ask what this is regarding? Let's practice. Read the following sentence and try to determine whether they are correct or incorrect. She must not go to school sick. The sentence is correct. He can borrows my car. The sentence is incorrect. The correct sentence would be, he can borrow my bike. When using a modal verb, the second verb is left in its base form and does not get conjugated. We cannot leave now. This sentence is correct. May I ask a question? This sentence is correct. 
we must to try this restaurant. The sentence is incorrect. The second verb in a sentence using a modal verb is in its base form, so we do not use to. The correct sentence would be, we must try this restaurant. You should spend not so much money. The sentence is incorrect. To negate a sentence with a modal verb, we place the word not behind the modal verb. The correct sentence would be, you should not spend so much money. Thank you for watching. I hope you now have a better understanding of how to use modal verbs. As always, if you have more questions, feel free to comment, or if you're interested in joining one of our courses with a live instructor, feel free to message us directly. I look forward to seeing you in our next class.